Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's that favorite time of the year again. Well, month actually, my bad. Uh, we have our latest Ipsy bag in. But this month we have a little bit of something different. Not only do we have Ipsy, we also have Birchbox. Decided I would take the plunge, try getting the other ones, you know, try branching out, see what else we can possibly discover. So, we're gonna start off with our Ipsy bag. I do have a little disclaimer. Yes, I have already opened it and looked inside of it. Um, I actually got into it this past weekend when I had some friends come over and we just had a goofy girls day after me and my best friend Heather went and did the insane inflatable 5K here in Millington, Tennessee. It was a hell of a lot of fun. If you get the chance to, if it comes to a city near you, you should definitely do it. It's a blast, okay? Yes, there is a lot of walking or if you choose to, running in between the obstacles, but the obstacles themselves are super fun. It's hilarious to do. We had a great time. Uh, so if you, if you get the chance, try it. You know, they're doing it to raise money for the American Cancer Society um, or association. I forget which one it's supposed to be, but it's for a good cause. It's a lot of fun. When you get done, you get a t-shirt, you get a medal for it. You know, just if it's something you're into, Try it. You'll have fun. I promise. Okay, so after we did that, we went back to my mom's house and we just had a goofy girls like makeover day. Me and Heather had seen some videos on YouTube where people had uh, been like blindfolding each other and doing each other's makeup and it, it has been some of the funniest things that we have seen. So we decided that we would try it ourselves. Um, Unfortunately, we tried filming it on her computer, but her monitor went to sleep, so we didn't record anything. So, unfortunately, we don't have those videos. If we do it again in the future, we will make sure that it actually records this time so that everybody can see. Uh, we did post pictures of it on our Facebook pages, and let's just say we were both hot messes. Like, I, I apparently cannot blend foundation at all when I can't see. Um, neither one of us can get eyeliner in the right place. It was, it, it was bad funny as hell but bad um and we we pretty much we both went to like the dollar store and the dollar tree and whatnot and just got some dollar store makeup stuff that we weren't going to be spending a whole lot of money on so if we happen to mess it up by accidentally mixing a dark color with the light or something we weren't going to be ruining something that was really expensive um if you get the chance to do something like this you have some friends that would have fun with this or sisters or whatever Go for it. It's really fun. Uh, if we do it again next time, I will try to make sure that we actually record the whole thing because we had a blast. Um, we attempted contouring. That didn't go so well, except for my mom. Apparently, she's been contouring her cheeks for a few years and didn't bother to tell anybody. So she was the only one that actually came out looking decent. The rest of us, we were like streak and splotchy and it, it, it apparently takes more practice than what we thought. So, um, but anyways, uh, two of the items in here were things that um one was something similar to what i've gotten before and one of them was lipstick in a shade that was just god awful on me so um heather's sister uh ended up taking them because she had a friend that she figured could use the lipstick and because uh her sister has very sensitive skin and the this little water that i got it is great for taking off makeup and perfect if you have sensitive skin or dry skin it's not going to dry you out and irritate you real bad so she has those two things so i don't have them here to show you but i will still tell you about them um when i get to that part uh so let's you know we'll get going so first off we have our ipsy bag this month actually has a little snappy button instead of a zipper and they're really cute because they have landmarks from all over the world on them. Uh, they came in different colors. There was like pink and purple and something else. I was really, really hoping for the purple one. Sadly, I didn't get it. I got the pink one. I'm still happy though. Um, as always, we know that they come with the card. This time though, it's actually a postcard. You uh, put where you are from and then on the back you fill in different things. It says, Dear Ipsy, today I tried a glam bag product for the first time. It was some kind of adjective. I've already taken a number of selfies, smiley face. 
I'm having the best time, but I can't wait to get home and see a noun. XOXO at and then your name. And then if you put a stamp on it, you can actually send it back to them. Um, and uh, you enter it for a chance to be featured on Itchy social media. So that's actually pretty cool. I think I'll probably fill it out and send it back. Um, as always, we know that Ipsy is a subscription bag. Birchbox is the same. They are both $10 a month. Um, they actually both have a points system as well. Though I heard that possibly Birchbox is, Birchbox is going to be getting rid of theirs. Which if so, that's, that's pretty sad. Because apparently, like Ipsy, you can use their points in their online store and get stuff for it. Um, and it works like cash. So if they do get rid of it, that is going to be kind of sad. Um, Ipsy is free shipping. Birchbox, I found out, does charge you for shipping. So I ended up paying like $10.93 total for my Birchbox. Um, so those are kind of the only you know, differences that I've seen so far. So the first thing that I got in my Ipsy bag is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara Volumator. Um, it's you know not a huge tube, but it is a really good size for travel or to put in your purse. I have heard a lot of good things about this mascara. I know a lot of people really like it. Um, it has your typical, you know, pretty bristled out brush. So it's supposed to give you a lot of volume, a lot of length. Um, it's a really, like a very black formula, so that's nice. It has an unusual scent to it. So if your eyes are like really sensitive to anything that's got fragrance, that might irritate your eyes. Um, it didn't bother mine, and I wore contacts, but I know some people are different. Uh, the next thing that we got is, of course, some of my favorite things, a brush. Now this one is by Inspire, and if my camera will focus, please focus. And it's not gonna wanna focus. Okay, well, screw you too then, camera. Uh, but it is a nice fluffy, you know, kind of stiff. It's a great blending brush for like right in your eyes, right where you got to do your crease and you want to blend everything out. This is a great brush for that. The bristles are really soft. Um, they're not, they don't feel any scratching or anything. Um, when I tried it this past weekend, it worked really well to smudge out and kind of blend everything that I was doing. I ended up doing a kind of like purple galaxy eye sort of thing. Um, I'll try to remember to post it pictures on Instagram and I will try to remember to put all the links for my Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat down below. Um, the last thing that I have to show you out of the Ipsy bag is this teeny tiny adorable little thing from Peak and it's in the color Nom Nom. It's a natural plumping balm. Um, you just slide it out. It's perfect little size. It has kind of a shimmery color to it, if you can see that. Um, it doesn't really put much color on your lips or anything, but it uh, gives them a nice tingle and helps pump them up. If you smell it, it smells like a mix between like peppermint and cinnamon. So we decided to just call it cinnamon. Um, and those two things right there are what cause your, lump, your lips to get plump. Your lips to get, yeah, your lips to get plumped up. It helps bring a lot of blood to the surface and helps plump up the tissue. Um, the fourth thing that I got was a, a small bottle of micellar cleaning water by uh, Avano. I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not, you know, really sure. It was a brand I wasn't familiar with. Um, but micellar cleaning water, for anybody that doesn't know, is uh, water that has like uh, fat bubbles or some kind of oil suspended in it. It's really good. It'll take off any kind of you know waterproof makeup without a problem. But it's really good for people that have dry skin or sensitive skin because not only will it take off your makeup, but it'll clean your face without drying your skin out. You know, a lot of people worry or complain about um, your typical makeup removers can have kind of a drying effect. It can make your, fin your skin feel really tight and itchy. If you have really sensitive skin, it can irritate it. Micellar water is what they have come up with to fix that. And apparently it works really, really well. 
and we did use it. We it took off makeup like no problem. Like I had no issues with it, and it didn't irritate anybody's skin, so that was great. Uh, the last thing that I got was a lipstick by this brand called Mellow. Um, it was a like a cream to matte finish, and it felt really great, really moisturizing, didn't dry out anybody's lips. The problem was that it came in the color Electro, which for all of us there came out to be this like almost construction cone orange. It did not look good on any of us. I mean, it was bad. Like inside it had a slight reddish tint to it. So we're like, okay, well maybe it's just this light. Went outside and it was like, oh my God, can you see my lips now? Like th th this is just not gonna work at all. I'm sorry. So I don't have it to show you, um, but it did dry to a very nice matte finish. It didn't really feel drying by the time that I had it on. But Cassie has a friend who will wear it, so we let her have it. And it was just much easier that way than trying to run around rocking some bright orange lips that I'm not going to be able to do. Okay, so for our next thing, we have the Birch Box. Uh, now, this thing comes with three boxes. You have your main outer box. Then you have your inner birch boxy box, which you have to open up. Then inside of that bad boy is your actual birch box for the month. Now, um, they are collectible. Apparently each month they're a different, you know, theme or color to the box. Uh, each box also comes with this little card. They each one have a theme. This month it's let's, let's take this party outside, shall we? And they're bringing you stuff that's like got SPF in it, stuff to help protect your skin. On this side of the card it tells you all the different products, uh, who made it, what it is, gives you a small little description of it, and tells you how much it's worth in the full size amount. Um, when I first signed up, they had a little coupon code that you could use, and uh, you could get a free eyeshadow palette from Pixie by Petra, which if you have watched any of the other videos, you know that I got a little small two eyeshadow deal from Pixie a few bags ago. And a real pretty like lavender color and like a mm, kind of a goldish color was the other one. But I really like those, so I wanted to get a full palette. So this was the free palette that I got sent. Um, interestingly enough, it doesn't open from the sides. It actually opens from the bottom. So like we thought that was kind of nifty. Um, the colors are all super, super pretty. Uh, really good if you want to do like a natural look going on. Uh, it gives you a dual ended eyeshadow brush and it's not the cheap ones. This is like the good kind of foam. Like the ones that you could, you know, wash and reuse for a while, it's not just going to degrade and, you know, rip your eyeshadow apart. And all the eyeshadows, when I tested them out the other day, these suckers are like silky smooth. Like, they feel amazing. So those, with this brush, oh, I should get some damn good looking eyes going on. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, unfortunately, I know, you know, I don't look all fancy and pretty today. I did this when I got home from work. It was a long night. We're not allowed to wear, have our makeup done or have nails or anything at work. Um, and we have to wear a hairnet all night. So unfortunately, my hair is flat and not doing anything and I don't have my face did. But I will try to get one going for maybe tomorrow if I have time. Um, so, I have the art box and it has this pretty little tissue paper in it. And, ooh, we have cute little things. Okay, so let me see. This first one is by Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. It's sea buckthorn berry is what's in it. Dry cleanse, refresh, and revive for all hair types. And it comes in this little like travel sample size bottle. Um, it's really cute. And it does, it smells really good. Unfortunately, you can't smell it. Even though I just tried to put it up there for you to smell. But it has like it does it kind of it has like a berry kind of scent to it it smells really good a uh, perfect size to stick in your purse or for travel um let's see this next thing 
is by Toca Bianca Green Tea and Lemon Hand Cream. This is a good size little bottle. It is one fluid ounce, um, which according to this car, uh, for the, the full size is $10. For the full size uh, dry shampoo is $24. Now this has a good smell. It, it definitely has like um, a green tea and lemony kind of smell. So like if you if you drink uh, like the green tea with lemon in it, this you know it smells like that. So it's got a nice herbal and citrus smell. It's very relaxing and soothing. Uh, our next thing is by Kula. It is the Daydream Mineral Primer. Little sample size, you know, it's uh, three ten fluid ounces. It featuring a bouquet of iris, white and lit, and honeysuckle plant stem cells. Uh, now this one is supposed to be a silky antioxidant infused formula. Helps makeup stay put while blurring fine lines and minimizing pores. Now this also has SPF 30 in it. So if you are somebody that um, doesn't want to have to put on a lot of sunblock with your makeup, you can use this primer. It already has the SPF in it, so it will help protect your skin. It's sunny outside. We all need the sunblock, especially if you're fair. But everybody needs it. You don't want to get all old and wrinkly before your time and, you know, end up with skin cancer or anything. So this is really nice. Um, I tried it the other day and it actually, it, you know, made the back of my hair really nice and smooth. It doesn't have, like, a really strong smell or anything. So if you're sensitive to fragrances, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with that. Um, the next thing is by Dr. Brandt is the Pore Dermabrasion. Um is a pore perfecting exfoliant. So, you know, it helps you, you uh, wash your face with it. It's gonna help exfoliate. Uh, it's gonna help minimize your pores, tighten your skin. It has a, it has kind of a pepperminty smell to it. So, you know, it might have like that refreshing tingly feeling to it. Uh, this is 0.25 ounces. So this would be $58 for full size. Um, the tip on here says you should only use it two times a week. So if you have very sensitive skin, you might only want to use it one time a week. Um, the Daydream Minimal Primer is $42 for full size. So even that little sample, or sample size is probably worth, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Um, our last thing is this I could flip it over correctly. Ico London Skinny Mini Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Precise, smudge proof, and pitch black. Now, you know, it's a small size because obviously I can fit it between my fingers here. But it's perfect to stick in your bag for travel. And my favorite part, ah, felt tip. I have come to love these things. They are the greatest when you are trying to give yourself a wing or a cat or cat eye, whichever one you want to call it, or if you just really want to get this nice, thin, defined line, especially when you get right at the lashes, these things work wonders. But it is a liquid, so you have to make sure that you let it dry before you close your eyes. Um, and if you want to, you might want to put like um, some black eyeshadow or something over it to set it really good, because it's a smudge proof, but if you get really oily skin or you don't let it dry fully, it, it will smudge and smear. Um, and according to this, full size of this is $16. So that's a good value. It's, you know, you're gonna get quite a few uses out of this because this is a 0.04 ounces. I've heard a lot of good things about the Ico brand. Everybody that I've seen that gets the Birch Box really likes it, has quite enjoyed it. So I am very happy to have it and to get to use it now. I'll probably end up comparing it to my scone one that I got from Ipsy. Whereas this one was full size, this one's obviously a smaller one. Uh, so these are the two boxes for this month. I don't, I can't say that I necessarily have a favorite either way. Uh, I'm excited that I got another brush from Ipsy. It's expanding my brush collection quite a bit. But I really like that I got a liquid eyeliner and some more dry shampoo and some SPF stuff with the Birch Box. So it'll be fun to see what we get next month. 
Um, if you enjoy this video, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the more stuff that we can branch out and do, the more boxes we can test. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on stuff you want me to do, uh, tutorials or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. I will make sure to post the information down below this time. Um, also, I have gotten some stuff from Wish that I have ordered, a bunch of its makeup stuff. So when it comes in, I will be sure to do a video on that uh, if anybody is interested. Um, I also might go ahead and do a drugstore video to show you all the stuff that we got for our fun little time uh, and maybe try to do a couple looks off of it. So uh, everybody have a great day. Wish you all the best. Much love from Tennessee and hope you will join me again here soon. Bye-bye.